Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld. We are picking up shortly after we left off. Our three Valent colonists are sleeping off what was quite a protracted fight, to be honest with you. They weren't really ready for it. They're doing quite nicely. Tigris is back in action and looking after Calhoun there. That's very nice of you, Tigris. And making some food for the upcoming day. You are an excellent little character. I think we... I think we need to get some food mines. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to set up some hunting, which always makes Jono happy because he can play with his rifle. So hunt. Let's hunt ourselves a couple of these muffalo. That one. I want that one and that one, and that should give us plenty of food. There we go. And that will keep us going for a few days while the crops are growing and they're being harvested now so that's even better that's excellent and actually while I'm thinking about it um, let's have a look at this bill there we go so let's edit this bill quickly um, until you have 10 there because we got new colonists that's excellent what we really need to do now is get a, a cooking table, a, a cooking area, uh, a, 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 an eating area in place so people are not uh, eating off the floor. In fact, let's do that one right now. Furniture. So we'll have a long wooden table. How should we do it? Let's do it like that. And we're actually, what did I do with that? Let's put some wooden stools in there. We have wood, we have plenty of wood actually. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we will do is when that's built, we will get the, the haulers to put eight meals on that table. So all they then have to do is run up here and eat a meal, run off and do what they're doing. Okay, so what? 4% chance to re recruit Calhoun, 7% chance to recruit Miriam. I think we're going to be doing that one for a little while. But still, every time these people talk to each other, they're practicing social. So that skill just goes up and up and up. There you go. That's the table. Excellent work there, Tigris. Let's put a, a zone on there. So we want a stockpile zone. Just put it there. And let's just uh, change the storage on that quickly. So we will disallow everything and we will just put in, um, let's just put meals on there and this is an important table so if there's meals here they will move them there. There we go, that's excellent. And that will get rid of this, uh, there we go, they're filling up already, that will get rid of this uh, um, negative emotion they have about eating off the floor. They're still unhappy about sleeping together, but at least we're working in the right direction. So, let's have a look. Group of travellers, don't care, fine. Actually, while we're at it, let's um, just tidy this room up a little bit and uh, link up all the walls. So, we'll just put a mining request in there and a mining request in there. And then once that's done, we'll build the walls up. There we go, excellent. And we've already started hunting, that's brilliant. So that will give us, there we go, that's given us 59 and 75, that's excellent. That's 144 bits of muffalo meat, so that's 14, 14 meals and some leftovers. Excellent. I'm saying excellent an awful lot, but that's precisely what it is. Miriam's not injured anymore, so I think she's going to be happier. Yes, look at that. Her, her, her happiness bar is almost full up. She's unhappy because she's been locked up for a lot of time, but Miriam, all you have to do is say yes. Join us. Join us now. At Eclipse, don't care about it. We don't have any solar panels. That one, that one, she doesn't matter. Right, today's project, let's do something. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start working on stone. And what, because what we want to do is build a wall across here. So but before we build a wall across here, we need to build an entrance way in here. So that today, I think, is going to be our big project. So let's set up a bit of mining. We will build across like that. 
and then we will build down like that and that will be our entrance area which we will then defend out later on but the first thing we'll do is we'll dig that hole and we will put in say a couple of a couple of doors in here just to make it harder for people to break in and actually while I'm thinking about it we could use a little power there so we also need to run a power cable up here that's excellent what do we have here you detected a cluster of cargo pods what have they brought us they've brought us metal excellent we'll have that thank you very much a headache pierces your skull like a nail some distant engine of hatred is stirring it is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region for the next few days everyone mood will be quite a bit worse not good research let's have a research project what do we want here at the moment we don't particularly want anything um, a fertilizer pump might be useful to turn the desert into um, into soil but we don't need it at the moment strong doors is always a good one to start off with but it's very expensive stone cutting there we go let's get stone cutting and let's get working on some heavy defenses oh I've just noticed where that stuff fell it fell within our area that's excellent wonderful there you go grumpy something to do while your plants are growing you dig us a hole there man right. and we also need here um, structure let's build ourselves some metal walls along here and down here just to finish everything off that's perfect Tigress working hard there restocking the food you're doing a wonderful job there and Grumpy there working hard eating the food you're doing an equally good job there man now get back to growing some Jono has given up and is wandering around in a daze not good Jono I'm sorry man but you're an important part of the colony we need you so we're gonna have to bring you back so let's put a sleeping spot in here okay and Grumpy where are you man hey Grumpy got a job for you no I don't want you to clean rock rubble I want you to clean Jono alright given up and leaving no we can't allow that Grumpy Grumpy is broken, dazed and wandering. Oh, this is not getting good, is it? Tigress! I need you. Oh, what the heck. Arrest Jono. Yes, Grumpy has given up and is leaving the, leaving the colony. Come on, you can't go, you've got the rifle. Quickly, quickly, Tigress, catch him! There we go. And we're also going to need to get Grumpy. This is not good. So let's stick another bed in. Okay, and once you've done Tigress, I need you to do another job. Arrest Grumpy. Oh, Jono, you fool, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, man? Oh, dear. I think this psychic wave is going to beat us. Come on, Tigress. Sort him out. There we go. Don't take that sort of rubbish from him. You need to rescue Calhoun as well, who's uh, not in a good way there. Right, excellent. Well done there, Tigress. Okay, capture. There we go, and capture. Excellent. So, right. You go off and do what you need to do. Let's have a look at these guys as prisoners. Try to recruit friendly chat. And Jono. Prisoner. Try to recruit with a friendly chat. This is not good because Tigress is not the best person out there for this job. And now she's doing everything in the colony. And I don't know if you've noticed but just about everything is eating our crops. This is not turning out to be very good. Still, Tigress, let's see what you can do. Let's do the best job you can here, my girl. And if we have to restart, we have to restart. Okay. 
So Tigris has got a lot on her plate at the moment. So let's have a quick look at her priorities before we move on. Um, cooking is still important. The doctoring and right, the wardening is going to have to become a priority for you, I'm afraid. But in the meantime, I think the rest of that is going to do. The big problem is going to be for food, but I think I'll probably send you out hunting rather than growing. Because I don't know if you've noticed, we're nearly out of food. The boom rats have eaten the lot of it. Grumpy is on a mental break. Oh dear, Grumpy, why are you have to be so awkward? Tigress, I'm sorry, my dear. Got a job for you. Go and beat up Grumpy. Yeah, I'm on. He's just a, a weak and feeble colonist. There we go. Let's capture him. Right. Uh, well done, Tigress. You go off and do what you need to do. Such a sweet thing. She's feeding Grumpy. Right, so this episode is nearly over. Let's uh, let things run for a little bit, see how they're going. But uh, I think, to be totally honest with you here, we're about done. Unless we can recruit some of these guys quickly, or... As yeah. She's not going to be any good at this at all, I'm afraid. Tigress, let's have a quick look at you. Tigress, social one. There you go. Social one. It's going to be a long time before she recruits anyone, or a very lucky random chance, one or the other. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to build a comms console. Uh, misc, misc. It's amazing the number of things that are under misc. So let's build a comms console there. Hopefully there'll be a slave trader coming along and we can buy some new people for the colony. Because otherwise I think we're a little doomed to fail now. But poor Tigress, she needs a rest. Oh good, Grumpy's no longer incapacitated. Perhaps we can start recruiting him soon. And there's a thunderstorm going along, so let's just back out a little bit, just to make sure. Poor Tigress doesn't even have time to cook anymore. There she's, here we go, here's your potato. Eat up. Oh! How about that for timing? A, col a villager named Ichabod has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a conceptual artist. Hey Ichabod. Nice to meet you man. And I think I'm going to even forgive you that hairstyle. Let's have a quick look at you. He is a 37 year old male villager. He was a cave world tender who became a conceptual artist. He's incapable of caring, social and hauling. He has artificial arms and is a bird lover. Okay, so he's not much good at shooting. In fact, he's not good at all at shooting. A little bit better at melee. But he's a good grower. And he's very artistic. It's a very sh real shame that there aren't really any artistic uh, skills. But no, nonetheless, let's have a look at you. Oh, what was your social like? Oh, you're equipped with a Uzi. Social. You're incapable of social. So I'm sorry about this, Tigress. You are still doing the wardening. Okay, so three and three mm. let's put these down to three because you don't mind doing them okay so actually that goes to one we'll put these in as four because they're your backup skills so what can you take over doing well you can take over doing the mining uh, the growing you can take over doing the mining and if there is any art to be done, you can take over doing those. There we go. Um, in fact, to be totally honest with you, let's just put the whole lot up to one. Actually, no, I'm not too worried about cleaning. Um, not too worried about art. Not particularly too worried about crafting at the moment. So those can go up. So there we go. Growing, mining, and researching. That seems like a, a good set of tasks for you there. So, there you go, Ichabod. Welcome to the colony. Now get to work. Why are you doing mining first? Interest. Oh, I see. Okay. 
You're now doing growing. That's excellent. Uh, I think also, while I'm thinking about it, let's start walling this some, some stuff off here. So, what do we have? We have a lot of metal and not much wood. So, let's do a couple of doors here and a metal wall around this area, like so. There we go. And then, and there, that's it. Okay, and then let's make sure that they know not to put a roof on. Create a no roof region. There we go. Excellent. And if Tigress ever finishes talking to these people, at least she's getting plenty of practice. She can build those walls and that will keep the boom rats and the squirrels out. And hopefully we'll actually get some of this round of food. So glad to see you, Ichabod. Your timing, man, your timing is perfect. Right, okay, I've just noticed we've had about 20 minutes playing this. This seems like an excellent time to give, uh, to, um, take a break. Given the fact that we came so close to the end, this has been a real turnaround. This is why I like this game. You know, the, the hand of fate is weighing down on you. You have to, you have to think, you have to plan, but you also have to adapt on your feet. And if we can get some of these people as part of the colony, this is going to be an excellent colony. If we hadn't had Ichabod, we were doomed to failure. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've liked it. I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been RimWorld. Good night.